Hey everyone, I'm Hannah and welcome to our tutorial series. In this series, we are going to do it specifically all about this little guy, the Insta360 Go. We're going to cover all things Go related and don't forget to drop us a comment if there's anything specific that you'd like to learn and we can do our best to make a tutorial about it. So, let's get started. So alongside the basic function of Go's action button, you can also connect via Bluetooth and control the Go completely via your phone. Connecting via Bluetooth also unlocks some additional features. Here's how it works. So first, long press to turn on the Go. Then we're going to head over to the phone and open up the Go app. Down at the bottom, you're going to see the yellow camera. Click on that and then select Bluetooth control. If you've connected to your phone before, Go will automatically connect to your phone. However, you can do that manually by selecting the detected device and selecting which camera is yours. And then you're ready for the rest of the functions. Once you've connected, you'll see all of the shooting options that you've become accustomed to whilst using the Go. You've got photo, video, and time lapse. And don't forget, there's also hyperlapse option in the time lapse menu. So to choose your mode, just slide, select, and hit the yellow button to shoot. While connected over Bluetooth, under each shooting menu, there's a bunch of different parameters that you can choose from. For example, in video, you're able to select interval shooting, and in time lapse, there's also the option for a static time lapse. These shooting options are exclusively available under Bluetooth control, but don't worry, we made another dedicated tutorial just about these shooting options, so check them out in the later videos. So I hope that was helpful. You can head over to our YouTube channel for our full playlist of tutorials and don't forget to subscribe for the latest tips, tricks and adventures with Insta360. See you next time.